Sean. All right, I'm going to see if I can redeem myself from yesterday's poorly shot mess. My birthday video. Anywho, what I'm doing is the the dial off here, excuse me, the crank um, off the compound. They put a bushing behind here. And I put oil on it, did all the things, hated it. It's got drag. Well, I ordered up from China some thrust thrust bearings. So I measured the pack up with them all stacked up and it's four millimeters. Alright. So I got the dial and the lathe and I've already taken a couple cuts and I thought, why don't I don't know, go get the camera and give it a try? So I don't know how this is gonna turn out guys. Sorry. But I want to see if I can get you set up so you can peek over the back and hopefully see what I'm doing. So hang on. Alright folks, this could this could be real noisy and squealy, I'm just warning you. So uh, if you got those little earbuds in, you might want to turn her down a little bit. We're going to go uh, four millimeter deep total. That's what the thickness is. Okay, I'm just using a CNMG uh, insert boring bar. Yeah, and it seems to be doing all right so far. I'm just going slow at it, but so far so good. Hopefully, y'all can see. I think you can. I'll give you a little bit closer on this next one. Interrupting, interrupted cut, sorry. Can't even talk again. Got a little flexi going on too. Trying to take small cuts. The label takes real hogging if you want it to, but. I don't want to wreck this part. Then I'd have to build a new one.
across that one more time. Okay. It's looking real nice. <coughs> looking real nice. I'm going to keep cutting. Wow, lots of flex. To get past the interruption, it's all right. Really? I'll try a little bit of WD forty on this cut. I don't know if it'll help, but Good shot. Doesn't seem to help much. It is what it is, I guess. Destined to squeal, huh? All right, huh? Let's see what we got there. Take this measure a little bit if I can get my Yankee Dibble in there. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just cranking the cross feed in there so I can. Dude, I don't even know if I can get. Probably gonna have to. All right, hang on, folks put my uh, my measuring calipers in there and now I can measure the depth of that and we are at 269 2.69 millimeters we need four so I'm gonna keep going Alrighty. Gotta line everything back up. I got a lot of boring bar stick out, guys, because I wanted you to be able to see this. I was cutting it way up shorter. I was cutting with the boring bar way up, but. I moved it so you could see. Hopefully, it worked.
another measure. Got to be getting somewhere in here. Three sixty five, three point six five. Got to be getting closer than that. I've got to aim it, aiming for four. Let's test, let's test it. We aren't out anything to do that. stack up you just got your thrust bearing and then you got your two hardened washers in there man we are so close man that's just close I think I want a little bit of cleanup but man I, I think I'm gonna Come on, calling it, calling it right in there. That is stupid close. And you want a little bit of your uh, hardened washer on the compound side, or the you don't want to. See if I can get in there. Get that out. There we got it. So you don't want to um, countersink your whole bearing, or else you'll have to take off some of this rim. So. Let me just clean up. I think we're going to call it. Just a skim off. I'm telling you, these bearings make a huge difference. I don't know if you guys saw any of this video, but or anything in this video, but hopefully you did. Consensus on what we got. Boy, that looks good. I like it. You gotta clean all the crud out of it. That's gonna work good. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Got our little uh, turned part that we just did. We got to drop one hardened washer down, one bearing down, and one washer down. And when you get done, I don't know if you can see me, you just barely got any washer sticking up, and that's what you want. And then it's smooth. And that's what goes on. Hang on. We got to get you down from there, guys. All right, that goes on there. Doubt I can get you in the shot. It's going to be tricky enough just to get it on there without the camera on.
Nope, gotta hang you up, guys. It, it won't go on, so let me get it put on there. Be, be right back. Alright, folks, we got that part put back on there. And it turns like butter. I got all the play out of it. Just really nice. So, I happen to like these longer handles, too. They came off the other setup that I had. And I'm going to make some handles eventually. But for now, I'm using these because I have them. And they're both the same size. But uh, that is just butter. I mean, that is nice. Now, there won't be no more drag between the dial which I haven't put back on yet the dial and the, the back plate but that is nice I'm gonna put the dial back on it now that I know that it's gonna work because I didn't want to screw around with that pin that goes in here until I know it was gonna work I'm do it once but there you go guys I like that that's a good setup Alright, thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.